At ABC 10, as part of We Standing For You, we look for and highlight possible solutions. What could help police avoid fatal encounters? Tonight, ABC 10's Monica Coleman shows us the new virtual reality training at the Sacramento Police Department, and it is getting national attention. Helps inoculate stress and slow situations down for officers. That's what Sacramento Police Department officers will experience when they put on a headset and wristband sensors that will take them into a virtual reality training. So that in stressful situations, they've already ex experienced the stress response. Now they're able to see options a little bit easier because they have had experience in that environment already. The virtual reality training is the first of its kind for the police force, an effort to help better equip officers on the job. While in the simulation, officers will be faced with situations that officers get into across the nation that are all across the media and are become part of the national conversation. We're able to draw upon that and and analyze that with our subject matter experts and incorporate that into our training. Or see 3D scenarios of places they may be in Sacramento. And they put into practice in the virtual world training like critical decision making, like peer intervention, like tactics. We asked Police Chief Daniel Hahn how the new virtual training can judge the competence of an officer. Hahn says that instructors will be present while officers take the training and give feedback. The instructors watch everything you do. And so you can view what you did on the screen after the scenario is over and then the instructors critique. Chief Hahn says there is no pass or fail with the training, nor will the training be used to determine if an officer is fit for the job. The Sacramento Police Department does want to implement the training to different substations so officers can have more experience in what they may see in real life. Be able to set this up for right after roll call, have some more frequent training with different scenarios, but it also because it's portable, we can take it out into the community. And of course, one of the big questions, how is the police department paying for this new virtual training? Well, we are told this is all funded by a grant for now.